Have you ever wanted to add a custom Copilot to your Dynamics 365 HR? Well, you can, and Anna is here to show us how it's done. Stay tuned for another episode of the Low Code Revolution. All right. Hey, Anna, welcome to the show. So happy to have you here. Hi, April. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, well, before we get started, you have an amazing demo set for us, but I would love it if you could introduce yourself to everyone and just give us a little bit of information about what you do. Thank you. So I'm Anna. I live in Switzerland. I'm currently working at KPMG. I'm an MVP and I do a lot of nerding with low code and Dynamic 365 HR mainly. Awesome. Well, so the reason why we have this episode is I saw an amazing LinkedIn post that you had where you're showing how you integrated Dynamics 365 HR with Inner Service Now and then Copilot Studio for a custom Copilot integration. So I was hoping you could show us a sneak peek of how that works, but then maybe you show us behind the scenes too of how you kind of set that all up. Yeah, definitely. Um, I th This idea of having a Copilot within Dynamics 365 HR came after not having as of now in Elsk HR chatbot. So I sort of created my own and also integrated with a third party, in this case, a ticketing system called ServiceNow that most of us know um, to improve the user experience for Dynamic 365 HR. Awesome, well, it's a really cool use case. I don't know if I've seen a lot of similar use cases or people showing this really with Copilot Studio integration with Dynamics 365 HR. So can you share your screen and show us how it's done? Yes, definitely. I'm not. I, I'm sure you don't have a lot of people with this integration. Dynamics HR is a very tiny niche, but I think that it's very important for people that have not considered this platform yet for HR purposes to know how easy it is to integrate with other local solutions. So what you're seeing in the screen right now is Dynamic 365 HR. I'm just going to scroll down and go to the employee self-service piece. And you will see that um, we have uh, the basic employee self-service stuff that we always have in any self-service capability. So um, as you can see here, we have two tabs. One is called My Information and the other one is called My Team. What I will do now is I will show you how quickly we can integrate this um, copilot in, um, in this case, in um, Dynamic 365 self uh, employee self-service, HR employee self-service. So I'm going to do a right click here and say personalize form tab. Then I will select and like you can see that in red is all selected. I will say personalize this page. In the three dots, I would select add a, an app. In here, I need to select again where I want the app to be. I would like to have it as another um, tab. So I would just select here. And here we have two options. We can either add a pow power up that I already did with that one of your templates, April, um, or we could add a website. So because we have our copilot, we have them as um, websites. What I would do is to embed that website within here. So I will leave this ready. I will name here my, uh, my like the tab that we will add as Ask HR. So what we have here is our copilot that is called Ask HR. You can see that we have all the standard things about um, Copilot. So what I will do is I will go to Publish. I will go to Channels. And then in Channels, I will just select the demo website in this case, and I will copy the link. It's uh, copied to Clipboard. And now we can go here and paste our URL. So I will save it. And you will see that the new tab has been added. Just close this editor. You can see that a new tab has been added here. And you could use this method that I just did for embedded a copilot, but you could use it, for example, if you want to embed a corporate site or an internet or something like that, you could try it. And I think it's very useful to have everything together. So if we go here to the Ask HR piece, so what we have here is the chatbot that, well, now Copilot Studio that we already embed into this self-service. And you can see that I have the welcoming message like, hello, I'm an, uh, I'm Ask HR, which is the name of the Copilot 
it's not very uh, creative. And you can uh, you can see that the compiler is telling me that they are using AI to answer the question. So the first thing that I want to know is about the uh, employee referral program. I've been working in the company for a long time, as you can see in the main header, but I have no idea about the employee referral um, policy. So I will ask, uh, copy and paste the question that I already have. So uh, the question says that I'm trying to learn about the employee referral program, but I can't seem to find any information about it. Is there any, any specific place I should go to uh, look at this. And you can see that the compiler is replying back to me that you can find the employer fair policy within the employee self-service link section. Um, there we should find a dedicated page or document outlining this um, policy. So what we're going to do is we'll, we will just go here to my information. And if we scroll down, we see that we have a, a link that's called referral program. In this case, it's leading us to a web page, but we could have a link to a SharePoint site that is only accessible by those who have access or some additional uh, places where, where you could go to that referral policy. So this is one of the questions that our copilot can ask, uh, can reply. Um, gathering information from our system or from our uh, from our knowledge base. So uh, the second question that I will ask is uh, that I also have it already prepared here, that I will be working um, remotely for um, three months. So I would like to have secure access to all my corporate applications. So I will just copy and paste this in here. And I listed um, the things that I that I want to have access to. So I want to have access to email, to CRMs, CRM teams, and the project system that the IT team will know already. So our copilot is telling me that um, they cannot grant me access to applications, so they just can provide information. But uh, they created a service now to get to ensure the HR IT people prioritize the setting up of my remote remote work and um, that they will be in touch shortly. Because this is a good response, but it's, I would like to know a bit more about it. Um, we added an adaptive card that I want to say thank you for Denisa to help me put this together. And you can see that we have a title and then we have a description that says that the user, in this case, Julia, uh, will be working remotely for a period of three months and that they will require to have access to the different applications that the person listed in the chat. So we have two things that we could do. Uh, we can go to the case or we can close it. Uh, close is more like acknowledging that the case has been opened and we don't go, want to go to that case. And the second case, we, sorry, the second um, uh, button is go to case where we could press and actually see what's happening on the ServiceNow request. So if I open it, you can see that we have an instance of ServiceNow that is opening the incident. And this is quite, there you go. So you can see that uh, we have the different applications that the user should have access to and that um, a, a short description as well as the title of the um, ticket. This is a very useful case for those organizations that uh, would like to have a ticketing system um, working on one way, but also have a chatbot that um, process those requests through through uh, like natural language. So um, yeah, the idea was to put this together. Uh, we created, so I'm going to move this Copilot over here. So we created this Copilot uh, Studio that uh, uh, answers different questions and retrieves back the answers. We also used uh, well, not so new, but the um, uh, adaptive cards and to try to make the experience for the users a bit more easy and digestible. Let's say. So yeah. That's that's pretty much it, and I think that it's it's nice to have it within the experience of the self service from for the workers. 
Yeah, I was amazed at how easy the integration was just pretty much embedding it there um, in Dynamics. And it's a really good scenario to show how not only we can use Copilot Studio to get questions answered, but also perform actions on behalf of the user, like having that ServiceNow integration in there. Multiple ways to do all that. Like I think you had some custom defined topics, but you know we can use generative answers. I think it's really like just thinking of expanding on what we could do with this Copilot, right? So we can point that to some internal data that you might have outside of Dynamics too that you you want people to be able to reference and even use plugin actions that are in Copilot Studio to be able to integrate with other services and perform actions. So really the possibilities are endless. Just curious, did it take you, how long did it take you to make that? Whole Not a long, to be honest. So the most tricky part was finding out how to deploy a service now instance. Uh, <laughs> but the rest, it yeah. took us, so I worked together with a colleague, Denise, that I already mentioned, and uh, creating the, the Copilot took us, I would say, half a day. And then the integration, it was something like an idea I had. But the thing that took us the most was just finding out how to deploy a ServiceNow instance and yeah, how to make it actually work because it's not Microsoft uh, or something that I know or I'm aware of. Yeah, that's that, that's what I love about Copilot Studio in general. It's just so easy to get something functional yeah. and useful up just in, yeah, like you said, half a day. And then you have something that your business can really add value and take advantage of. So that's amazing. I'm quite sure that uh, it, this is not a complex Copilot. So as you said, we could add much more actions and uh, plugins. And uh, that I think that, yeah, it's it, the possibilities are endless. And depending on the complexity, will be more time. But also, I think that uh, that's very easy to the learning curve. It's very easy. So, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, this was an amazing use case. Thank you so much for coming on the show and showing us what we can do with this integration within Dynamics and Copilot Studio. Uh, really appreciate that. And uh, anywhere people can go that you know of to maybe learn more if they want to learn more about how to integrate with Copilot Studio and Dynamics. Yeah, so I recently launched a video that is on my website, that's the one that you saw, um, that it's showcasing pretty much uh, the same workflow that we did today, but it, because uh, you, you could just uh, have a look at that. I, I have a couple of also articles on how to embed different either power-ups or uh, websites into Dynamic 365. This could also work for modules, not just for employees of service, but other modules that you would like to for finance cases, for example. And of course, I would recommend that if you haven't played yet with the Copilot to go to Microsoft uh, documentation and create Copilot. There are also great uh, video recordings and on how to create Copilot, your first Copilot from scratch. So I would definitely recommend those too. Yep. And there's free trials of Copilot Studio so you can get started and, and check it all out. So. Thank you again, Anna, for coming on the show. And thank you all for watching. And we will see you in the next episode of the Low Code Revolution.